Hello, good morning, this is Diecast Lou and I hope you're all doing well. And this morning's video is going to be a challenge video, a challenge that was set by Mike from Nitro Speed. And the challenge he set is the NHRA Drag Racing Challenge. So basically, show your drag cars, um, muscle cars, gassers, um, and all that good type of stuff. Anything that would look at home on the drag strip, basically. As we all know, Mike is a massive muscle car uh, drag racing car and gasser and hot rod fan he loves his american muscle and he loves his drag racing and i myself i don't know masses about drag racing but i do love my american muscle cars and my hot rods and i've actually got one coming in the post funny enough i've got a rlc that's coming that would have been awesome for this but unfortunately it hasn't come um, hopefully tomorrow but anyway we will get on with what i've got i've got about 12 pieces picked out um, so I hope that will, will fit the challenge. Um, so we'll get straight into it. And the first piece is this really cool um, Dragon Wheels. As you know, I'm, not, I'm a big Matchbox fan, so I always have to get a Matchbox in there somewhere. And I think this is one from my channel logo, if I remember rightly. But anyway, this is the Dragon Wheels, and it is a funny car, or it's based on a funny car. So there you go. So that is the drag, uh, Dragon Wheels Beetle. So that is my first piece. And then piece number two is going to be this one from Johnny Light. This is an older Johnny Light than I believe. Um, I got this about, uh, I can't remember when I got this now. I think I got it last summer at a car boot sale for about two quid. It wasn't expensive. And I believe yeah, it says the, the Lee Eliminators. The Lee, the Lee Eliminators, sorry. Which is... Um, I believe or was back in the day um, a funny car racing team but like I said I don't know masses about drag racing like that I do watch on YouTube quite a lot but a lot of the stuff I watch is more um, muscle cars going down the track but but this is a cool piece and obviously again it is a funny car so this bit does pop up and you can see where they would drive and you would see there you go you can see the engine so pretty cool. Uh, and then piece number three, staying with the green theme, is from Hot Wheels, and it is uh, a 64, 1964 Chevy Nova Gasser wagon. This is one I did a wheel swap and detail on, again, about a year ago, I believe. I did a wheel swap and detail on this. I put the large and the small wheels on it, painted the headers, did the engine detail. But it is a particularly cool piece and this sits on my shelf downstairs in my collection and you can see the toolbox I added and you can see the fuel tanks painted in red that the chrome and the lap belts are done so pretty cool so that will be piece number three and then piece number four is a particular favorite of mine and it is the Nash Rambler wagon from Johnny Lightning and again, it's got the big fats on the back and the smalls on the front. And I'm not quite sure of the of the year of this. I'm not sure if it's a 55 or if it's later and it's like a 58. I'm not quite sure. So if anybody knows the year of this, if they could leave it in the comments as I've forgotten. It says hot stuff on the back. But looks really cool. And again, this would look awesome and be right at home on the drag strip. So that is piece number four. And then piece number five is, um, again, I showed this about, I showed this in the last challenge video. Um, this is obviously the Dragula from the Monsters movie. And I thought, why not? As I do like showing this car, I don't get a chance to show it that often. But, um, and they did actually make this, this actually was a functioning car. Um, it is in a museum somewhere now. But they, as far as I'm aware of, it has got a 289 Ford Mustang engine in it. It's pretty cool as a little opening pod and I know now and again on the drag strips they do quite often you have the serious racers and you do have sometimes you do have novelty racers so this would look awesome going down the track so that is going to be piece number five uh, and then piece number six is another one that I did a wheel swap on and it is the passing gasser I, th I believe this is based on a Ford as you can see it's one I did a wheel swap and detail on gave it a large gear stick for a bit of a laugh change the steering wheel so that is piece number six and then piece number seven is a particular favorite of mine 
um, from Team Transport. I know Mike showed a yellow version, I believe, of this. And it is a Plymouth Cuda. But really, really nicely done. Like I said, when I've seen this in the shops, I couldn't wait to get it. So really nicely done. There you go. It says Snake 2. And you've got all the different advertisements on the side. Got the great big uh, Goodyear tyres. And again, the front lifts up clips in the place and you can see the fairly detailed blown v8 and but yeah particularly favorite piece of mine do like this casting a lot i think it looks awesome so that is piece number seven that is the plymouth uh, cuda so we'll just pull that to one side a minute make sure it doesn't fall off the table and then piece number eight is another particular favorite of mine again from team transport so we'll just move the truck out the way and we'll take a look at the AMC Rebel machine. And again, I've got, a, I've got a mainline version of this, similar sort of thing, but I do really like this awesome looking piece. As I, like I said, as I said, I, I'm a big muscle car fan myself. There you go, good year on the tires, Rebel machine. And I think it says 390 cubic inch, and then you've got 340 horsepower which doesn't sound much by today's standards, but back in the day, that was a lot. And these were quick cars. And if you go on YouTube and listen to them, they sound absolutely awesome. And I believe it's based on the, nine, I think this is either a 69 or, I think it's a 70. I think it's a 1970 model, but again, it doesn't say on the base. But anyway, so that is piece number eight, I believe. Let's just check, two, four, six, eight, yeah, piece number eight. Piece number nine. And I thought, why not? You can't not have one of these. It is basically the modern drag car, or at least a modern muscle car. And it is the Dodge SRT Demon. And I believe in real life, they didn't make many of these. I think they only made about 10,000 actual demons. But as we all know, this is basically a street legal drag car. And with the right fuel in this, these would make way over, or at least over 800 horsepower. Um, possibly even 840 horsepower. I can't remember now because they all vary but this is from majorette and i just think it looks awesome in all the black and obviously has a little scoop there you can actually see into so that is pretty cool so that is piece number nine and then piece number 10 is this one this is one i haven't done a, um, now the weather's getting better, I will be doing some more customs, and this is one I want to do a custom on, give it a new paint job and other various bits and some better wheels. But this, I believe, is a 56 Ford panel van. So, very cool in the Moon Eyes livery. Uh, there we go, 56 Ford. But awesome. So, that would be piece number 10. The last couple of pieces. I know this looked, would look more at home, really, actual facts, on the uh, Bonneville Salt Flats as one of the land speeders, but uh, I just thought, why not? It does look awesome. It rolls really nice. And this is when I did a wheel swap and detail on not too long ago. Gave it a large gear stick, but this would look good rumbling down the track. And then the last piece is one of my favourite pieces in my collection, funnily enough. And it is this awesome 41 Willys Gasser from Hot Wheels RLC Selections. I believe this is the Selections winner. But it's really nicely done. Really weighty piece. And the details are just awesome. And I know Mike showed one of these, as this is one of his favourite pieces, I believe, too. But fantastic car. And obviously, you've got uh, 392 on the bonnet. And if you look inside, you can see the separate piece steering wheel. You can see all the harnesses are done. And I'll try and show it, as I know, you can see the, the uh, accelerator pedal or the gas pedal if I get the right button pressed. Let's see if we can see it. Let's just turn that way a little bit, possibly. Light's not very good in here. Bear with me. No, you can't see it. Just about see it there. You can see, if you look inside, you can see it's actually got a, an actual metal gas pedal but like i said i can't seem to get it into view properly let's try it that way there you go now you can see it fantastic car and then obviously you've got this awesome opening feature on the front and you can see all the belts are done all the blower belts are done uh, you can 
see the pulleys and all the exhausts obviously all like they've been ran that, that awesome blue purpley blue color but uh, anyway so just put the camera down. that is my cars for the challenge i hope they're okay mike <laughs> um check out nitro speed's channel mike awesome guy if you love muscle cars, you'll love his channel. He shows all sorts of stuff, all sorts of cars, but he has got probably the best muscle car collection that I've seen. Fantastic cars. And um, go and check him out. Give him a sub. And, uh, and with that, please like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned for more vintage pieces, unboxings, wheel swaps, customs, challenge videos, and all that good stuff to come. And with that, I'll see you all very soon. Oh, don't forget, it's Vintage Matchbox Mondays episode... 18 i believe this evening and i've got some awesome pieces you won't want to miss it but anyway with that i'll see you all very soon and i'm back again i'm free hands have the cameras wobbling do it i do apologize but when i was making the video just now um this came in the post so i'll quickly show it what it is and i'll do a proper unboxing tomorrow but i thought this would be appropriate for the video so just bear with me two seconds and here it is it's finally come so it is the 32 ford from hot wheels rlc and like I said, I'm not going to unbox it now. It is one of 30,000 pieces, and I'll just quickly show it briefly. So this has come in the post. So I thought it would be a great way to finish off the video, but I'm going to do a proper unboxing tomorrow. But anyway, like I said before, check out Mike's channel, and I'll see you all very soon.